While it pains me to say things like this, in part due to my own family's history of military service and a general hope for repentance to come to the USSA, the fact of the matter is that the American Empire, as it actually exists, is openly at war with God on every front. And I mean every front. And that is a war, my friends, that will not end well for America. One recent reminder of this sad reality came when Breitbart News and many others reported last week that, quote, the Nellis Air Force Force Base in Nevada recently hosted its first ever drag queen show at one of its on-base dining and entertainment clubs, according to a base spokesperson. Nellis Air Force Base said in an email statement to Breitbart News, quote, Nellis Air Force Base and the 99th Air Base Wing hosted its first ever drag show Thursday, June 17th at the Nellis Club. The event was sponsored by a private organization and provided an opportunity for attendees to learn more about the history and significance of drag performance art within the LGBT plus community. Ensuring our ranks reflect and are inclusive of the American people is essential to the morale, cohesion, and readiness of the military. Nellis Air Force Base is committed to providing and championing an environment that is characterized by equal opportunity, diversity, and inclusion. End quote. Now let's process this news in light of a few key facts about the real world and how it works. Number one, Jesus is king. Number two, Romans is real and also serves as a fairly detailed summary of the USSA. And I mean official policy, not some corner of weirdos or, you know, periphery strangeness going on in the culture. I mean the core doctrines and positions advocated by the governing elites running the USSA and perfectly in line with most of its population. Point number three, Psalm 2 is also real and completely applies to the USSA, meaning that the God-hating American empire is not long for this world unless it completely repents of this insanity and begs for mercy while submitting to Christ as king in practice. Either way, and this is an important thing to realize, but either way the American anti-Christian empire chooses to go, whether through repentance and submission to King Jesus and the abandonment of its entirely anti-Christian approach to pretty much everything, or whether the American Empire, through continued prideful rebellion against King Jesus, continues along its current path, either way, the king will win and will make a way for his people to grow, advance, and build something better, infinitely better, on the smoldering ruins of the USSA and every other Christ-mocking wannabe kingdom that has come before it. So take heart and be of good cheer, Christian. The king is going to use this crumbling, pathetic, dying American empire as he sees fit to advance his kingdom on his terms according to his perfect timing. And there's nothing that the USSA and its temporarily ruling elite predator class can do about it. May we all repent and prepare accordingly while there is still time. Now more than ever in this era of anti-Christian bigotry and the end game of anti-freedom elites running the American empire, we need to get connected with each other. If you appreciate this perspective and would like a daily dose of informed optimism, subscribe to this channel and sign up for the weekly newsletter at hellraiserreport.com.